Hi everyone, welcome to Roda. My name is Tarun Malik, and we are going with the flow of the series, which is called Smart Tricks or Jugaad series, right? So we have already done first video of the same. If you have not watched that, please watch that first, right? And then come back to this one because we have discussed that how the series will go and what kind of tricks and uh, what kind of questions will be discussed in the upcoming videos, correct? All right. So uh, in a way, I am re-recording this particular video because there was some sound quality issue in the earlier one. So you might be some of you might be seeing this for the second time, right? But I hope the, this time that problem will not be there. Some rendering issue was there. Okay. All right. Okay. So coming to the particular series, particular topic, it's actual cat questions. Okay. Uh, starting from last last year, and we'll go back. To seven, two thousand eight, seven, and six on also, right? With actual cat options, right? So we will, in a way, use smart tricks, right? Jugard is okay, but uh, it's more about smart tricks. How we can save time while solving the particular question, right? Okay, but don't get a wrong idea about this. It's not like that. Out out of twenty two questions, you will get four five questions based on this these tricks, right? Hardly you will get maximum two questions. Worst case scenario, maybe possible not even one, right? So it's your good luck, right? If you have got one, or at least one or two, right? The point is, when we solve, when we apply the concepts, right? We generally do not focus on the other aspects of the question, like options. Like whenever you are solving questions, so कभी कभी आपने ऐसा देखा होगा कि options might help you sometimes, right? That's one of the trick, definitely. But there are other tricks also. We have not thought about that so far. So I'm just giving you a different approach on the same, right? Concept will be there in its place. उसमें कोई doubt नहीं है, ठीक है? उससे कोई compromise compromise नहीं करना है आपको. So it's kind of a 90% 10% or 95% 5% kind of the thing. So at least 90 to 95% the focus will be on concepts only. And these tricks are basically like that only. That those who are good at concepts will be able to apply it. It's not like that. That you do not know the concept and you will solve it uh, using the tricks. Might be possible for one or two questions, but not in general, right? So concept पे पे compromise नहीं करना है, ठीक है? False hope नहीं चलिए नहीं है. ये सब कुछ जुगाड़ से हो जाएगा. नहीं ऐसा नहीं होता. Alright, चलिए start करते हैं with the first question. This is my brief introduction. You can read it. No time waste. Not going to go over. First question in front of you. For a four-digit number, the sum of its digits in the thousand, hundred and tens places fourteen. Sum of its digit in the hundreds, tens and unit places fifteen, and the tens places four more than unit place. Then the highest possible four-digit number satisfying the above condition is. So question is there is a four digit number sum of thousand hundred and tens is fourteen sum of hundred tens and units is fifteen and tens places four more than unit place from here to here I'll do plus four so generally how we solve such kind of question we assume the number is a b c d then apply the logic a plus b plus c is equal to 14 and then try to solve it considering the point that a b c should be a single digit integer right and that is 0 to 9 you sakta hai hai na cannot be negative cannot be more than 9 but going to that logic is can be a lengthy one hai na sometimes so use some smart tricks right what is the smart trick in this particular question is Putting the options, putting the values rather. Options are not there. Values put it. And what is the best thing I can do? We are four numbers, right? So basically, one till like nine, till end, including zero also, we should focus on, right? So if I start with this one, so I can get easily this, right? And then we can go further about the same. So let's start with the unit place. What are the possibilities for unit place? Suppose unit place is one. So this is plus four. That is five. Some of these three should be fifteen, so this should be nine. Some of these three should be fourteen, so this will be zero. Not possible. It's a three-digit number, right? Condition two. If this is two, 
this will be 6 1 is increased here 1 is increased here so 2 decrease here because sum is constant so it will become 7 right 1 increase here 2 decrease here so 1 increase here it will be 1 otherwise if you do not write this logic you can simply focus on this also okay some 40 no okay next this is 3 so this is 7 6 plus 1 this will be minus 2 that is 5 this will be 2 next will be 4 h 3 and 3 and next is 5 9 1 and that is 4 you need to find the largest four digit number right i cannot go beyond this if i put this equal to 6 this becomes tens not possible right then to possible nahi hai but single digit number hona chahiye so that's your answer clear i hope the logic is clear right okay it will actually save your time it might be possible that you are thinking that time to nahi lag raha but aisa nahi hai because i spent most of the time explaining it ki what is to be done right and that can happen in a click okay all right moving on second question two trains a and b are moving in opposite directions with the speeds of 5 and 3 the front end of a cross the rear end of b 46 seconds after the front end of both the trains has crossed each other so scenario is this and this question dhyan se padte the front end of a cross the rear end of b 46 seconds after the front end of both the train speeds suppose this is a and this is b as soon as the front end cross the counting starts and after 46 seconds the front end of a will cross the rear end of b so it will be like this this gives you 46 seconds after and it took another 69 seconds for the rear ends to cross each other right so after this this will happen in another 69 seconds right something like that as a push for our guy first what is the jugad that this is useless to you iski zarurat hi nahi mere ko because we are considering the two trains you know and whenever two bodies are being considered the speed will always be relative speed so we will only focus on distance and time because speed to aapka fix hi hai na for the whole scenario puri condition ke liye speed aapke fix hai so does does not make any difference 5 is 2 se kuch farak nahi padne wala answer pe theek hai so in a way aap keh sakte ho speed is constant so distance ka ratio is equal to speed ka uh, time ka ratio right so in a way when situation goes from this to this so what is the resistance traveled this much so can i say this distance is traveled in 46 seconds and then from this scenario to this scenario in which distance covered is this much so that is 69 seconds in the first scenario the distance covered is the length of b in the second scenario it is length of a so whatever is the ratio of time will be the ratio of distance or the ratio of length of the speed uh, length of the trains what you need to find ratio of length of a and b so a is 69 corresponding and b is 46 that's the ratio of time so that is also the ratio of distance that is the length of the train that's your answer right clear i hope so the trick was that this ratio is useless and then you can simply apply this common sense right that is the main point third question and the last question three positive integers x y and z i think this is cat 2022 if i am not wrong three positive integers x y z are in arithmetic progression if y minus x is equal is more than 2 and x y z is equal to 5 times x plus y plus z then z minus x is equal to 1 now this question can be solved without doing much effort Think logically. Concept about it. Three positive integers x, y, z are in AP. Whenever three numbers are in AP, their sum is equal to thrice times their average. And whenever 
three numbers are in AP, X, Y, Z are in AP, their average is always the middle number, which is true for any odd number of numbers which are in AP. Three numbers, five numbers, seven numbers, nine numbers, average of AP is always equal to the middle term, right? So sum will be what? Thrice of the average. So can I straight away say this is nothing but 3y? So straight away I get x, y, z is equal to 15y. y, y cancelled. x, z is equal to 15. And x, y, z are integers, positive integers. So what are the possibilities? 1 cross 15 and 3 cross 5. You need to find z minus x. Here it is z minus x is 14. Here z minus x is 2. 2 is not in the options. It's ruled out. I am not using any other logic. My simple basic options are going Out of the two possibilities, only 40 is in the option. So, the answer will be answered. I hope it is clear. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Question is also not tough. When you try to solve it, you will get the, to know that there is no chance. Right? But the idea is that most of the part can be done verbally. You can do all the verbally. Kar sakte tha, right? Like the one I have done. Okay, surely. So I hope the logic is clear for the three questions. We'll follow more such questions in the upcoming videos. Keep watching the series. Alright, thank you very much. Bye-bye.